I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is November 3rd, 2018. And in this video, I'm going to be fixing my Prusa again. My Prusa i3 Mark III. Uh, I've got a new issue. I've got an error on there, and I'll show you in a second, where I have a minimum temperature bed error. So I have to go show you that, and I'll see what I can do to fix it. Okay, so here is the air, actual error I have right now on my bed. So as you can see, it was printing just fine. And then mid-print, I got this error, minimum temperature on the bed. And then it just stopped. So what I think this is, I think it's actually the opposite of what I had occur before. So I had another, I have another couple of videos out there, which I'll put some links to uh, right here, where I had another error with a bed thermal runaway. And a thermal runaway is where it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. Um, I think this is the opposite. And so in that last set of videos, what I had the problem was is the, um, the power connection to the actual heat bed had gotten frayed and messed up and was missing connection. So I redid all that, resoldered it, and that's fine. What I think is going on now is on the bed there is the thermistor. The thermistor is the temperature gauge on the bed. And I think that is probably having the same issue. It's gotten frayed or dislodged or something. And so I think I need to fix that and I think I'll be good to go. So it's the opposite of the last issue. I shouldn't say it's related but opposite of the last issue. The other issue was the actual power to heat the bed was mess, was disconnecting this. The temperature gauge, I think, is disconnecting. But I'll go take this apart and see what I can find and show you, hopefully, how I fix this. So, Okay, I think I found my problem. And one thing I, I didn't mention in the other part is that this temperature thing is happening intermittently. So what I did is I actually uh, I restarted, restarted this box, restarted this box, restarted this printer, and I printed all these things out individually with not a problem. But then I finally got to print this one out, which is a little bit bigger, so there's more movement. And I finally got the same error again. So I was able to print out quite a bit, but um, whatever I'm trying to do, it gets me nervous because I can't print out big things confidently without it getting, you know, halt in the middle. But what I found out was, I when I went and redid this before, I kind of didn't do a good soldering job on here, so it kind of bumps out, and that might have been part of the problem. So I printed out this new piece, but it kind of angles a little bit. And so when I went to go put all this together, this, their mister, goes through here, and this goes on. And what I did accidentally was I pinched it. So there's two pinch points, let's see if I can illuminate, on there, right about there, and right about there. And so it's just enough, um, that I guess as it moves, it gets disconnected and messes itself up. So I'm going to go kind of cut the offending piece out, resolder it, maybe put a little bit more buffering in there. I might go clean this up so it's not going to hopefully not pinch so much, but try to remove the pinch as best I can, put it back together, and I think that should solve my problem. Okay, so I'll, uh, I didn't quite video while I was doing the repairs, but I did take a picture here, so I'll do an overlay video on that. Uh, as you can see in this little video, what I did is I cut it, well, you can't quite see this, I cut out a couple of pieces of wire like this, stripped both ends, I cut out that piece that was broken, and then I used a lot of um, a sh shrink tape, not shrink, shrink wrap, uh, heat sink, heat, heat, shrink, shrink heat, ah, I can't think of the name of this thing. Anyway, you heat this up, it wraps over it, so you can see that in the image. So that got it all done and on. Uh, the only thing is, after I got it all back on, it is a little stiff, um, but as you can see, it works. So I actually went and did a small little uh, guy, and then I did this big one, which I've kept having errors on because it moves too much, and it got successfully done. So I think that's a good repair job. Uh, that fixes the issue. Oh, and one other thing, when you put this guy back on, because I had to take this heat... Um, I had to take this guy off, is you have all those little circles down there that you have to put back on, and it can get a little difficult. So what I did is I put the center one on first, got that one on, and then I worked all the different sides one at a time and got it all on that way, and that seemed to work pretty well. So there it is, repaired, and hopefully this will be the last repair I do for a little while, I hope. Hey, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we are doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.